What are you staring at? Oh, the drawing. It's turned out rather well, if I may say so. I think I've got the proportions right, don't you? Or was it perhaps my feet that caught your eyes? Ah, all right. I know they don't quite meet the classical requirements of the body beautiful, but I know a few women who think they're pretty sexy. So I don't see why I should be made to feel inferior because I look extraordinary. <laughs> Nevertheless, many people find it slightly... Excuse me, please. Thank you. As I was saying, many people find it slightly awkward or even unpleasant when confronted by the likes of me. To find out why, I thought we would spend some time going through the various views taken on physical abnormalities throughout the ages. And inspired by this classical setting, why don't we start with the dawn of ages as perceived by the ancient Greeks? In the beginning, heaven and earth, Uranus and Gaia, were united in a passionate embrace. The sky pressed down on the young and virginal body of the earth. And as their love could not be contained within them, it gushed out over the earth, creating the ocean. Gaia conceived, and her first litter testified her immense joy of creation, presenting strange shapes and structures, giants with liberal amounts of heads and arms, titans, one-eyed cyclopses, etc. Such was the dawn of time. Perhaps you think such creatures exist only in myths and legends, but this is not true. They do exist. Stowed away in the pathologic curiosity collections, we find the children of Gaia and all their mythological brothers and sisters. 